and welcome to worshiptutorials.com. My name is Brian. In this video, we're going to learn how to play the song Echo, uh, which is recorded originally by Elevation Worship featuring Torn Wells on acoustic guitar. And this can be kind of a difficult song to play on acoustic, not because of the chords. The chords are easy. There's only two chord progressions in the whole song, but because of the rhythm of the song. So I'm going to teach you how to play the song in the key of C. I think that's a pretty good key for a male lead. Um, it can be a little high, but it also gives you a lot of energy in the vocal. So if this is too high, uh, this is going to be an easy song to transpose. My suggestion, if it's too high, transpose these chords into the key of G chord. So C would become G, A minor would be E minor, F would be C, and G would be D. Okay, so transpose into the key of G and then use a capo either on the 4th fret, 3rd fret, or 2nd fret to put it in B, B flat, or A, uh, depending on where you put your capo. Again, we're going to go key of C. The chords we're going to use are C, we're going to use uh, G, we're going to use A minor, and we're going to use F. And this is how I play the F. Now, I have two videos that uh, we have made here at Worship Tutorials on this song. One is just me playing this on acoustic, and I would be using those open chords. Another one uh, features uh, our friend Sam, Sam Cannoli, and um, in that one we played the acoustic part a little different. We played like these kind of power chord, bar chord versions. Uh, in that case, this would be the C. Okay, this is G. This is A minor. Okay, so you can really play either of those variations. So those are the chords. Now the most difficult part of this song is going to be the rhythm. And if you're singing and playing at the same time, it's going to be playing the rhythm and singing. That's what I personally struggled with the most when I did the acoustic video. I'm going to show you a few ways you can get around it. But the first thing you're going to need to know about this song is the beat. Okay, so it's 104 BPM. It's kind of like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and the beat goes like this. So if you listen to it, you'll hear that. Okay, it's really throughout the whole video that you hear that. So you can kind of do that with your strumming pattern in a couple of ways. If you wanted to, uh, I'll just, uh, the, the first progression that you play for most of the song just goes G for a full measure, A minor for a full measure, F for a full measure, and C, okay, that's your intro, verse, chorus, turnaround, uh, and then the tag is different. We'll get to it when we get there. But uh, you can play that uh, that that rhythm. Remember, dun 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 dun. That's your rhythm. So you can kind of do this. That's what I like to do. I think that sounds the coolest with acoustic guitar. So, string pattern would be like this. One, two, three, four. Okay? Down, 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 up, up. 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 Okay? Down, 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 up, up. Down, 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 up. Slow it down. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, up. Down, 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 up, up. Down, 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 up, up. If you want, you can kind of throw in an extra down. So it'd be down, 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 up, down, up. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Or down, 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 up, up. So if you want to go a little bigger, you can kind of do this. saw that I kind of threw an extra little down strum in there. Down, up, down, up, down, up, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, but you're still emphasizing. When you get to the pre-chorus, when my mind says I'm not uh, giving up, that strumming pattern, it goes like this. At least this is what you can do to simplify it. Okay, it goes like this. Your love. 
love is so long, you won't let it go. You can also play that strumming pattern in the chorus as well, and that will sort of simplify the strumming because that's probably a pattern that, uh, if you don't know how to play it yet, it's something that you can pick up if you're kind of just getting started. And it's easier to sing those sections uh, on top of that strumming pattern than it is the... Okay, so let's talk about uh, progression. So it starts on a G, to an A minor, to an F, to a C. Play that again. When night has fallen, A minor. When fear is common, F. Still you're calling me, C. Play it again. When faith is lost, and A minor, my hope exhausted, F. You will be my strength, C. Into the pre-chorus, it's the same chord progression. When my G mind says I'm not A minor good enough, God F, you're enough for me C to G. I've decided I'm not A minor giving up. And then it stays on the F. You won't give up on me. You won't give up on me. Okay? Uh, and it's just the same chord progression in the chorus too. G, your love is holding on. It won't A minor, let go. I, F, feel it breaking out like a C, echo. Your love, G is holding on and it won't A minor, let go. I, F, feel it breaking out like a C, echo. And then it changes. So let's talk about how you play this, uh, these sections. So the intro again is gonna be. So if you notice what I did there in the uh, verses, I tried to play this thing. And it's hard to go between that and sing the verses at the same time, especially the way the words come in. But you can get it if you just practice it. You've got to really uh, make your what your rhythm hand is doing on guitar. You've got to practice it so that it's just on autopilot. I haven't really played this song in a while. So uh, <laughs> my hand, I'm not quite, you know, I'm not, I haven't practiced enough to pull it off yet. And then on the, uh, when my mind... I kind of did that thing. And then when I got into the pre-chorus and the chorus, same chord progression, but I just used that simpler strumming pattern. Okay, so now we get into the tag part in my soul. It goes A minor, soul, F. Stay on the F. I'll play the, the end of the chorus into that sort of tag or turnaround section. It goes like this. Feel it breaking out like an echo, an echo in my soul. Soul in my soul. I played it through twice. Uh, I think the first time you get to it, you sing it through one time, and then later in the song you do it a couple times. But that's really all there is to this song. Really just two chord progressions. Um, 
And then those sections that you can just put them together depending on how you want to arrange the song for the way you're going to do it. Uh, if you want to listen through the way that uh, Elevation Worship arranged it, uh, you can kind of copy that or you can shorten it uh, for, for your own use. Whatever is going to fit best in your church. Check out all the resources we have below. There are links below where you can see the acoustic playthrough video that we did, uh, the video that I did with, with Sam. Uh, featuring Sam Canoli that uh, Chris Sly produced, and that is available also as a multi-track, full multi-track in multiple keys. You can get that below. All that stuff is down there. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.